In this demo, I'm going to introduce a scripted REST message library that I created that allows you to do REST-based communication fully scripted without having to use the UI. Traditionally with ServiceNow, if you wanted to consume a REST-based web service, you always had to go into the UI and go to the REST message module. And then you had to create a new record. Uh, in this case, I'll say demo 17 incidents. And you'd have to go through the UI and build out the a Rust template, if you will. And once you created the Rust template, you would then choose what RESTful function, HTTP method that you wanted to use. So we'd have to then go to get and we would create our application headers. And any URL parameters. And then you could do a test. So we'll go ahead and log in. And we'd get the result. Then, if we wanted to put this into some code that we had. We would then preview the script usage and copy and paste. Now if we wanted to make this dynamic, we would put variables in here so that it could be scripted. Uh, then we'd have to define those variables down here and then click the preview script usage and copy and paste. Not a bad solution at all and it works for most people. However, sometimes if you're coding and you're familiar with REST, and all, you don't want to build out a UI template, you just want to script out a REST message. With my new library, you can easily do this without having to go to the REST message uh, UI. So for example, uh, in this case, let's say that we want to query the demo 17 instance. So instead of calling REST message, library, we're going to call the REST message scripted library. And you just put what method you want to execute. I want to execute a get method. And you add the URL. For the endpoint. Next, to add headers, you do the add header function. And if you want to add any URL parameters, use the method add request parameter. And let's add another one. Let's get all active tickets that have a priority of one. And let's set basic authentication credentials. And we will execute this. And let's print out the response. Now, this library inherits from the out of box REST message library. Thus, uh, all the response and return. Uh, data is the same as if you were executing the REST message. Uh, there's, there's nothing different there, so you can just read the documentation on the API for handling the response. If I wanted to go through a mid server, I could do r.set mid server and do, say what mid server I wanted to execute with. Obviously, if I were to use a mid server, I would not get a response, so I wouldn't log the, the response get body because mid servers are asynchronous. Let's go ahead and run this. And there's the response. So in just a few short lines of code right there, I was able to create quickly a scripted, fully scripted Rust message request 
that can use any of the HTTP functions of get, post, put, or delete. Uh, similar to what you can do with the UI before you generate uh, the code snippets. It, the UI is great, however, if you're dealing with multiple, maybe 10 different API calls, you have to build out 10 different uh, GUI-based REST templates uh, along with variables to make it scriptable. Uh, with this library, if you're comfortable with scripting and prefer to go that route, uh, you just type up these few lines of code. Uh, no variables are necessary because you're already scripting and, and off you go. Uh, to install this, this is just an update set. Uh, you install it like any other update set. Once you've installed it, you'll get a new script to include. Let's jump over to that. Called REST Message Scripted. And as you can see here, we're just extending the REST message object and then adding, overriding a few functions and write, writing um, a few functions of our own make this scripted. And really, uh, that's it.